Hello, this is Dr. Nilanjan Sengupta. I'm an endocrinologist, Kolkata, and having a practice of endocrinology for about 24 years or so. Today's topic of discussion is the importance of glucose monitors in the management of diabetes. Now, for any person with diabetes, particularly if he or she is on pharmacotherapy, glucose monitors should play an important role. While a patient who is on insulin needs self-monitoring of blood glucose with the help of glucometer on a regular basis, sometimes even on a daily basis, and in diabetes in pregnancy, irrespective of the treatment, but any patient on diabetes, even if he or she is on therapeutic lifestyle change alone or on oral pharmacotherapy alone, can derive the benefits of regular home blood glucose monitoring with the help of glucose monitors. So with this I come again to the next point which I want to re-emphasize which patients of diabetes must have a glucometer or must use a glucometer. Again, to enumerate those who are on insulin, whether temporarily or permanently. Second, those patients of diabetes who have become pregnant, either pre-gestational diabetes or gestational diabetes, irrespective of the type of diabetes, type 1 diabetes becoming pregnant, a patient of type 2 diabetes becoming pregnant because in pregnancy we, there's a need for very close monitoring and very tight glycemic control. Any patient who is on insulin and also patients who are hospitalized with some comorbidities or concurrent illnesses. So in such situations, self-monitoring of blood glucose or side blood glucose monitoring with a portable glucometer is absolutely essential. The third point that arises, what should be the frequency of testing if I have a glucometer? Now that actually has to be individualized that depends upon patient to patient and even in a particular patient on his or her present clinical condition. In some patients, I recommend self four point self monitoring of blood glucose maybe every day or in some other patients, the every second day or every third day or in a stable patient, I may decrease the frequency to once a week. Again, having said that, we can say that in an ideal situation, daily self-monitoring of blood glucose should be the norm, should be the rule. But in certain circumstances where the patient is otherwise compliant, the patient is otherwise healthy, the glycemic excursions are not that much, one can decrease the frequency of cell monitoring of blood glucose to maybe twice a week or every alternate day or even once weekly depending upon the circumstances and the clinical conditions. Now, there can be a very pertinent question in everybody's mind. What's the accuracy of the glucometer testing and what's the precision? So what is precision and what is accuracy? Now precision is how close is the value, measured values are to each other. Meaning in a particular patient you test at five minutes interval. What is the concordance between two values? So that is precision. And what is accuracy? Accuracy is how accurate is the tested result to the original value. 
So suffice it to say the modern glucometers have a very high degree of accuracy and precision making the test re results interpretable. How do I ensure that the glucose monitor that I am purchasing is of utmost quality? Of course, this is a very obvious question with an obvious answer. You settle for a well-known brand. Regulatory bodies like in India, ISO, there may be some other regulatory in the European Union or United States. These regulatory bodies are certified to the quality of products. So you have to look at the local regulatory authorizations for the product and buy it. So do not settle for what is the cheapest, rather one should settle for what is a well-known, a standardized matter and which is used quite frequently, quite extensively. And another thing which one should think while purchasing a glucometer is the cost of the consumables and availability of the consumables. So not only the meter, its quality, warranty and everything one has to look into and also the robustness of the consumables and whether they are available and how cheap are they because that is the recurring cost the patient has to bear. So therefore, I think all ideally all patients of diabetes should make a habit of doing self-monitoring of blood glucose. And I would say something here, just having a glucometer means nothing. If you just keep it at home and show it to your relatives that I have a glucometer of this premium company, you have to test regularly. Just testing regularly makes no meaning until and unless you capture or record the data in a properly interpretable form. Just capturing the data in a properly interpretable form means nothing unless you act upon it. So just having a glucometer make a serve any purpose. Just having a glucometer and testing randomly doesn't serve any purpose except for detection and management of hypoglycemia. Just testing without documenting doesn't serve any purpose. And just documenting without acting upon the values or figures doesn't serve any purpose. So for a successful self-monitoring of blood glucose, we need all these four steps. Having, procuring a good robust glucometer with quality control checks from time to time, properly structured, properly maintained, properly monitored, structured, SMBG as advised by the treating physician, documenting those data whether manually or electronically and acting on that data appropriately. Then only actually the clinical utility of self-monitoring of blood glucose will be evident in the form of a good glycated hemoglobin, good time in range, prevention of complications, uh, improvement of general well-being. And this actually happens in clinical practice. Those patients who can be educated to use a glucometer properly and they learn using the glucometer properly, they get the best advantage, get the highest benefits of using a glucometer. I may conclude that Self-monitoring of blood glucose with a glucose monitor is actually an indispensable tool for the proper management in most of the patients of diabetes, irrespective of type, if not all patients. Thank you.